If the shaitan were to come to you and to hand you his resume, if he were to compose a resume, what would the resume of the shaitan read like? Well, maybe at the top of the resume, it would have his name, just like many other resumes. It would say, name Iblis. What does that mean? That means despair. His name actually means despair. Also under his name, he might put Ar-Rajim, the accursed, the outcast. Underneath his name, like many other resumes, he would put his professional goal. What would he put under his professional goal? Maybe something like, my professional goal is to condemn every single child of Adam and Hawa to the hellfire. He, will, he doesn't want to rest, he won't rest until every single human being is sent to the hellfire. And you know what that means for us? That means everyone, myself, you, if you were to look around you right now and if there's people sitting around you, that means the shaitan has vowed to send all of them to the hellfire. Every person that you have ever known in your life, every person that you have ever come across, every member of your family, people who have passed and people who are to come, the shaitan has vowed to send every single one of them to the hellfire. He says, I will mislead all of them, all together. So that's his professional goal. Well, what would he put under his qualifications? Is he qualified? And I feel like if we were to ask the shaitan, if he is qualified, he would laugh in our face. And he would say, there's no one more qualified than me to do this job. Because I have been there since the very beginning. I have been there since the beginning of the creation of mankind. And I have been learning from every single human being that ever existed. He would say, I knew your father Adam alayhi salam. I knew his wife Hawa. I know every single person who ever existed in the history of mankind. And I have been studying human beings. I have been learning about you. I have been learning about your desires. I have been learning about your fears. I have been learning about your strengths and your weaknesses. I have been observing you. I have been honing my craft. And now I have the ability, I'm qualified to tailor my methods of deception for you based off of your life, what you have been through. So he will laugh and say, there is no one more qualified than me. I am the most qualified person. Underneath that, accomplishments. Many people put their awards and what they have done in their professional career. The shaitan, I feel like once again, if we were to ask him, what are your accomplishments? He would laugh once again, maybe a little harder even this time. And he would say, my accomplishments, look around you. Every single person that you see, I'm working on them. And he would say, ask yourself, how many people do you know that are living their life in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? If we were to look out into the world and see how many people have been able to defeat the shaitan, how would we answer that question? Think about your family, think about your neighbors, think about your friends. How many of them are conscious of the shaitan? How many of them have defeated the shaitan? He would say, that is my accomplishment. When you see people disobeying Allah, when you see people going down the wrong path, when you see people doing things that they may know is bad for them. It's bad for their nafs, it's bad for themselves, it's bad for their spirituality, it's bad for their ending. Some people may even know, he would say, some people may even know that this action is going to send them to the hellfire or, or it could lead to the hellfire, yet they continue. All of that, he would say, I have a hand in all of that. He would say, that is my accomplishment. And he would say, if you really want to know what my accomplishments are, then know that already thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people have already found their way and they're headed to the hellfire. Those are my accomplishments. This is what the, this is what the resume of the shaitan, Iblis, our enemy, would read like.